I began traveling in Asia in 1976, and it's become a major part of my life and a strong influence on my art. In 2010, my wife Deborah and I decided to look for places to volunteer, um, as we were so touched by the graciousness and the spirits of the people, uh, particularly the children, in Hawaii, in Cambodia, where we spent five years. As luck would have it, I met a Cambodian doctor residing in Germany since the 1960s who had founded an organization called the House of Peace in honor of his father, an educator who had been killed by the Khmer Rouge. Orphan children were being taught to make the traditional leather shadow puppets so as to have a trade and a means of some income. You can see the shadow puppets on the background. Uh, since they had not been exposed to any other art forms, I offered to teach them drawing, painting, and collage. We went for three to four weeks over the next three years and fell in love with the children and with this wonderful country. In 2013, we found another NGO with a more ambitious program called Anjali House. Anjali means blessing in Sanskrit, which worked with street children, uh, teaching them English and arts education. We were able to both work on projects there, and each year uh, the art teaching was combined with learning to perform in a play. Uh, my wife, Deborah, uh, taught dance movement. So we worked with the kids during the sets and also doing the art projects in the play. The first year's play was called Back to the Future, Anchor Wat, which was uh, loosely based on the um, the movie that was done with Michael J. Fox about uh, time travel going between ancient Angkor, which was about a thousand years, to the contemporary play. These are the kids performing in the play, and these are the wonderful sets that they made. This was the gate to the school, which we could slide back and forth going from the ancient time back to contemporary Cambodia. And then in uh, 2014, we created a piece uh, based on one of the Ramayana stories, Hanuman and Savanna Cha, uh, where the children not only did drawing, painting, and collage, but here, these uh, kids, we've seen them grow over the last couple of years, and they also uh, felt a great sense of achievement at being able to create these sets and to do the play, which we did in English. Uh, we particularly chose themes uh, from Cambodian culture because so much uh, had been destroyed uh, during the years of the Khmer Rouge. And these are the kind of kids you would call at-risk children uh, if they were in this country, and they really need to feel that someone cares about them, especially from a country far away. There's a great many NGOs like this uh, in Cambodia. And uh, the work there, too, had a tremendous effect uh, on my own art, the spirituality of Cambodia and the rebirth of a nation that had been so thoroughly destroyed. Uh, last winter we were in India, which is my favorite place on earth. I've been there now uh, seven times. And this time my teaching was at a very different level. I met uh, an artist who was a professor at the Arts University in Udaipur in Rajasthan. And these were all teenage art students. So it was a very different approach. These were kids who had been doing art for quite a few years and we worked on collage, and I had them explore things they had never done before. And the art they created was very exciting, both for them uh, and for me. And it opened up a whole new direction, both again for them and for me, uh, of creative activity. Um, also gave them a tremendous sense uh, of pride uh, and accomplishment. And you'll see some of the, the wonderful projects that they did together. that they had never done before, uh, some of the different uh, experimental collage things that I do myself. Uh, we are going back to India again uh, this year. We're going to be going in December, where I'll be doing more collage workshops in Udaipur and also in Ahmedabad, which is the capital of a Gujarat state. And there we're also going to be volunteering at a foundation called Manav Sadna, which is an NGO on the grounds of the ashram where Gandhi lived for about 20 years. And 
with children very much like the kids uh, in Cambodia. It's been very fulfilling to me being able to share with them uh, the art that I do, and it's been a tremendous inspiration for me in my own work.